Hi, I'm Dave. I'm also known as Bard for Natural One. Now, this is the office of Natural One. It's also the office in my house. So, eventually there'll be a huge office, and, uh, eventually. Now, I mean it. I am actually going to be going like crazy trying to get this channel up and going. I mean, yeah, we only have 50, almost 60 subscribers. And that's not a lot. Let's face it, it's not huge. Uh, I started a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago-ish, and that's great. Um, you know, Jordan's putting out some content pretty soon, and it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. Uh, but yeah, so I promised that I'd give some DM tips, Dungeon Master tips. Now, there are lots of DMs on the internet. I mean, a lot of them. Now, the best couple that I can recommend to you, uh, that you can watch, I will be going over things, but I would highly recommend to you, if you're gonna start, watch these guys, and come back here for other insight. But, Matt Mercer, he's on Critical Role, Geek & Sundry. Fantastic. He is an amazing man. I can't wait for some days that I can meet this guy and just shake his hand and be like, you are amazing. Um, he doesn't need that because he's a talented voice actor and an amazing person. So go check him out. Also check out um, Chris Perkins. I think he works for uh, Wizards of the Coast. So go check him out as well. Also very amazing. He does uh, a lot of stuff for Acquisitions Incorporated, which is a funny and fantastic series as well. I think I've said fantastic a few times. But let's keep going. So I got involved in Dungeons and Dragons about, I want to say a year ago, year and a half, or even two years. Could be more, could be less. But the point is, is that I found it through a friend, through a family member, actually. Um, it wasn't something that I was particularly too lucky on. Uh, my past has been everyone else in different groups have been playing it, but I was never in those groups, so I felt like I could just barge in and, and, and join in. Turns out I probably could have, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, is I started a while ago, but have loved it for a long time. Now, uh, to any of you avid fans who've watched it and been with it and played it since you were like, you know, I'm back in the 70s, I envy you because, I mean, I wasn't alive then, I was born in the 80s, but even so, I envy you because it's something that I wish I'd found earlier because it builds confidence and has so many amazing attributes to it that can uh, really help someone. For instance... Alright, so what we're looking at here are the benefits of role-playing games in particular. This is from goodtherapy.org. You can look it up yourself. Uh, there's a lot of sites that talk about it, but this one I felt kind of summed it up. Look, so it says, improved spatial reasoning skills, particularly in female players, ability to establish new friendships, practice social skills, increased empathy toward people. I mean, let's face it, there's not enough of that in the world. And develop strategy and critical thinking and all these amazing things. And to prove I am not a liar, look at these references. Like clearer voice me said, it is something that we can all really use in our lives. Now, some people say, it's just a game, why would you ever say that? Well, to them, I would say, the proof's in the pudding. People who have played this for such a long time have so many applications to it. I'm gonna link a TED Talk. That's how you know it's true. Anyone can do that. Okay, all that aside, the game is great. You've got to take into effect so many different things, but I would just say, just start playing it. Find a group, start playing. Uh, heck, go online and just say, help me, I want to play. You could play online, but I recommend getting an actual group with actual books. And when I say actual books, I mean this one. Player's Handbook. Now, it is by Wizards of the Coast. You can find it on Amazon for a decent price. I got mine for a really great deal during the holidays. I would recommend holiday sales, they're great. Um, also, even if you're just going to be a player and not a DM, get this anyway. Okay, the rules are easy to understand. If you look at everything that there is that is Dungeons & Dragons, it is a lot of rules. Because if you go with any game, there's certain things that are put into motion. For instance, you get a, a different game, like uh, on an Xbox, PC, what have you, PlayStation, don't want to leave anybody out. Um, yeah, you find that there's like coding that goes with the game that makes certain things happen. You can't go through this wall, you can't do that, you can't do this. But you can go on this single path and defeat the bad guy. What I love about Dungeons and & Dragons, and whole sincerity on this, I love the freedom of the game. The, the ability to roleplay, you don't have to wear armor, by the way, side note. But you can. You can do that. But you don't have to. I really love that you can choose your path and say what you want to say. Have you ever played a game, for instance, like this one right here? Skyrim. Love it so much. It is just one of the best games ever. 
I mean, really, Bethesda, they knocked it out of the park with that one. And I hope they do one soon. Come on, where's the content? Let me show you. I'm more of a DM, Dungeon Master, who doesn't really go by the rules 100%. Uh, I'm not a rule breaker, but I will bend certain rules to make storytelling more effective. Makes sense? For instance, there's a guy on the ground. The whole team is beaten, just smacking him. If he has a high AC, which is armor class, which is basically what he's wearing, which allows you to try to hit him. You roll a d20, which is that polyhedral dice that has a 20 on it. You roll that, and if it says, like, uh, 15, and he has an AC of 17, you don't hit him. Make sense? Okay, if the whole team is hitting this guy, and he's got, like, an AC of, like, 20, he's hard to hit, right? If for story's sake that like a certain character has a beef with that guy that's stuck on the ground, I'm gonna let that character get the kill. You know what I mean? Or to get the final say, or do something, whatever it is that makes the story more, you know? You don't want some random character to show up, some peasant to get the final kill. That would just be destructive. Well, it is late. It is time for me to end this video. And if you liked it, please like below. I mean, I don't really ask those things. There's buttons everywhere. So click on some of those things. And, you know, if you have something to say to me, please do. If there's something you want to see in this series, ask away. I have some people who have been, like, religiously watching my videos, uh, clicking on them, and even commenting on them. Which is really crazy because I had another channel. <laughs> it was bad. I just did like pop music covers. Don't do that on the internet. Everybody's singing about something. Anyway, thank you for watching Natural One. As I always say in the videos, and we always do, is may your roles always be natural ones, but not natural ones. I know that may be corny and silly, but hey, I am corny and silly. So that's it. That's great. Fantastic. Goodbye. Thing on my computer is happening. 50% discount only for you! Oh <laughs>